praise God, praise God. I pray you're having a blessed day in the Lord. Just praising the Lord on this rainy day. And I just want to share a thought with you for just a few moments on this little back road before I get into town. Just want to share a quick thought with you. The other day with my children, we were watching an animated um, Bible movie. And I began to watch the miracles of Jesus and the life of Jesus. And it showed how he suffered many things. It showed how he was rejected by his own brethren. He was rejected by the Pharisees, the Sadducees, the high priest. It showed how he, he was whipped, he suffered, he bled, he died. And on the third day, he rose again. You know, I began to think about when I saw Jesus stretched out and on that cross... You know, I began to think about the scripture. It began to roll over in my spirit. If any man will come after me, let him first deny himself, pick up his cross daily, and follow me. You know, the word says, he that looks back is not fit for the kingdom. And as I saw Jesus stretched out on that cross, and I began to hear that scripture over and over in my spirit. If any man will come after me, let him first deny himself, pick up his cross daily, and follow me. You know, we don't know what to what this life holds it holds in certain days but we can face tomorrow because he lives and the word of god teaches us that it rains on the just and it rains on the unjust and things happen praise god we don't always know the the plans but we just know a god that holds our future he is the beginning and the end the alpha and omega our life and our breasts in his hands and there's no greater place to be than in the hands of Jesus because the word of God teaches us that a child of God is in his hands no man can pluck them out praise God and I just praise the Lord you know and I begin to think about how life has trials and valleys and mountains and highs and lows and God's faithful and through them all and through every one of our weaknesses that's when his strength is made perfect praise God his strength is made perfect in our weaknesses and you know I begin to think about uh, denying ourselves, praise God, picking up our cross daily and following Him. You know, that is a representation of dying out to the old man and dying out to the flesh, praise God. The more we pray and the more we read the Word of God and give ourselves to God and seeking God, the more we'll die out to the sin nature and to the flesh, praise God. And you know, I thought about that. It says, pick up your cross daily you know paul said i die daily praise god we've got to die out to our own thoughts our own agenda you know because we go throughout the day and we pick up clutter in our spirit we pick up things praise god but we gotta cleanse our the when we read the word of god it cleanses us we're washed uh, by the water of the word you know we're washed in the blood of the lamb praise god when we get in his presence it when we commune with him and sup with him and he sups with us he abides with us praise god that our spiritual uh, man is renewed and strengthened and you know, we've got to die out daily, especially to the things of this world and things that um, try to deposit in our spirit. You know, Jesus said it's not what comes to you that defiles you, but it's what comes out of you, praise God. And the enemy wants us to be tainted because if we're tainted, then we're, then we're unclean, then we're un. Um, we're unclean it hinders the holy spirit it hinders the presence of god the love of god and things in our life it has to be uh three vessels a clean ready a clean vessel a ready vessel and a willing vessel praise god and those three things are essential and i just want to encourage you in the lord today you know we don't know what tomorrow holds but we hope know who holds the future and because he lives we can face tomorrow we all got to go to that cross. We got to deny ourselves our own will. We got to pick up our cross and follow him. Praise God. And he said, I'll be with you in exchange. I'll be with you always, even until the ends of the earth. He never leaves us. He never departs from us. He's with us even to the valley of the shadow of death. You know, I begin to think about how King David said, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil, for the rod and the staff, they comfort me. He's given us his word through the darkest hour, and I just want to encourage you all. I pray that you have a blessed day in the Lord. God bless you.